Hello, Boise Braves, and welcome to KBHS TV. Today is Friday, April 27th. I'm Mason Standall. And I'm Adam Bass, and these are your weekly video announcements. Prom is Saturday night at the Linen Building. Do you have your tickets yet? If your answer is no, you can get yours in the quad today at lunch. Tickets are $30 for singles or $50 for couples. Don't miss out. Mason, ever think about how prom is just a strange rite of passage? I don't think I know what you mean, Adam. I'm taking anthropology. I'm sorry, what? Ugh. Just watch this. Roll it. The natural world. A place of wonder and danger where all creatures must fight to survive. I'm David Irwin, and today I'm headed to the concrete plains of Boise High to see just how some of these creatures do it. Wow. Look at this. It's lunchtime on the concrete plains, and it looks like we've arrived just in time. The dominant creature of Boise High is the Boise High student. For these animals, lunchtime is not just about finding food. It is, for many, also a social activity about establishing bonds and furthering one's status in the complex social hierarchy. Students will travel in small packs over entire blocks to find food. Some choose to brave the thronging crowds of fancy freeze, others take their search to the local co-op grocery, and still others plunge deeper, seeking even more exotic fare. But this journey comes with a risk. Now, these creatures are expected to adhere to a rigid schedule. Breaking from that schedule means incurring mild social disgrace, as they must rejoin the group late and will often become the subject of judgmental staring. This student has come back late, and furthermore, he seems to have lost his identification key, and as such, no! cannot open the doors. Now they will have to wait, perhaps even for up to two whole minutes, for someone else to come along and open the door for them. When they return, we've been spotted. We'll have to go. Students are easily confused but quick to anger. This has been David Owen signing out. Recent events have pushed school safety to the forefront of most educational conversations. Nationally, just this year, there have been two student organized walkouts, as well as many protests about gun control. Now more than ever, it is important that we accept the role that each of us have regarding school safety. Take a look. We're here today to talk about school safety. Whose responsibility is it to keep our school safe? Is it teachers? administrators, counselors, in reality, it's everyone's job, including you. We all need to be aware of acts that could make the school an unsafe place to be and to take action toward keeping all people within this school safe. What acts are we talking about that could jeopardize the safety of others? These could be planned acts of violence toward a group or an individual or towards oneself. Or it could be the knowledge that a student has a weapon at school. If you become aware of someone planning to hurt themselves, or others, or having a weapon at school, what should you do? If you feel like you would rather not report your knowledge of potential acts of violence in person, you can anonymously report your information by calling the numbers on these posters, 343-COPS. These posters will be put up in the school so students can call and report their knowledge of potential acts of violence anonymously. This is the cop's number used to report crimes in the community and it should not be used lightly. However, if you have knowledge of a potential act of violence or attack and don't want to report it to an individual, you can call this number and report the knowledge you have anonymously. Again, whose responsibility is it to keep the school safe? It's everyone's. Let's all do our part to make sure that our school is a safe place for all to attend. It's time for today's club and event news. Elias, tell us what's happening. I'm Elias Willerup, and it's time for your club and activity report. The Spring Art Show is happening on Tuesday night from 6 to 8 p.m. Please plan to come and enjoy some amazing work and support our many talented artists here at Boise High. Need another incentive to show up? 10% of the proceeds of this year's show will support the Idaho Humane Society. Today at lunch, representatives from the University of Idaho will be in the Career Center. Stop by if you have any interest in becoming a vandal. Here's who else is meeting today. 
K-pop is in 204, GSA is in 524, and Earth Club is in 205, and History Club is in 504. Well, this has been Elias, and you are officially up to date. Back to you, Adam. Let's turn things over to Jonah at our sports desk. Jonah, tell us the score. Hi, Bray fans, I'm Jonah Grimmeyer, and it's time to talk sports. Good luck to our tennis team who participates in the Capital in Invitational all day today and Saturday. After this event, they have only one more tournament before they do the battle in districts. Go get him, team! More good luck goes out to our softball squad who travels to collide with Colombia today. Um, the first pitch is thrown at 5 p.m. Our baseball team is off this weekend, but they invite you to come out for their final two home games next week on Monday and Tuesday. Monday they host Meridian and Tuesday they will battle Bora for their senior night. Don't miss this opportunity to catch some rays and some great baseball action. Well, this has been your sports wrap. This has been Jonah reporting. Now back to you. And now it is time for today's words of wisdom. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, Life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Recognizing this core value is our Brave of the Week. The student body gives a shout out to Chris Scott Todd. Chris Scott exemplifies commitment to BHS with his active engagement in both school functions and his community as a whole. He is friendly to everyone and inspires caring in others. Congratulations, Chris Scott. Boise High appreciates you. Remember, you can make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. This has been Adam and Mason sharing what's up. Thanks for watching, Boise High.